question is on Claudia. What is your stand if we get a kind of gap in Social Security? And the question, I'm just reading the statement. What is your stand on the gap in Social Security? I'm not sure exactly what they're driving at. Is that referring to the fact that we are going down a path of Social Security becoming bankrupt in a number of years? That's how I understood it. Okay. One, I will say this. My parents are both hardworking people who relied on Social Security. And Social Security, though it's looked at as an entitlement program, in my view, it's not. It's something you earn. When you go to work, you're supposed to have your Social Security. I hope someday I get my Social Security after all the years I've worked, since I was 16. Believe it or not, even though I can't fill out a job questionnaire or whatever it is, even though I was a partner in my law firm in four years when the normal track is seven. But anyway, that's something else. But yeah, Social Security is something that we need to preserve. And I know that there's a lot of discussion about we need to cut Social Security or change the way it is. I think we need to preserve it. But I also think we need to stop raiding Social Security and taking the money from Social Security to put it in other entitlement programs where people are truly not earning that money. Social Security was meant as a retirement plan for the middle class. It's eroding right now. So for me, I would preserve Social Security. I would propose a lot of other cuts in government. We have a tremendous debt. We're at $19.5 trillion. The former Joint Chief said the greatest threat facing the United States is our debt. And if we continue to owe money to China and other foreign entities, we're going to be in serious trouble. So Social Security is not the place where I'd take it from because I don't consider it entitlement. But we do need to reconsider what we're doing with our other social welfare programs. 